when you learn, teach, and when you get, give. Welcome back to Conversations with Verdell Jones. As you see, we have our first guest here, Lucina Clark. She is the co-founder and executive director of My Time, Inc. So I want to welcome you to Conversations with Verdell Jones. Thank you, Verdell. It's such a pleasure to be here yes, with you. Yes, and thank you so much for my pen. I, I This is great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, so April is... Autism Awareness Month. And when I went on your website and I saw all the great things that you're doing, I am so happy that you're here, especially for this month, to talk about how you help uh, parents that have autistic children. Um, but I want to first start off by asking you, why did you decide to start My Life, Inc., and how long have you been incorporated? Uh, we started, my husband and I are co-founders. Okay. We started My Time, Inc. about 12 years ago. Wow. It became from a passion of my teaching. My background is in education. Okay. And while <laughs> doing this, oh, wonderful. <laughs> while doing this, I met this amazing family, this amazing mom mm -hmm. who has a young man who is diagnosed with autism. Right. And I, she had a daughter as well. But my connection, I felt when I'm teaching a child, I need to connect with the whole family. Yeah. I believe in a holistic approach of right. teaching. Yeah. Because if I'm teaching your child, I need to understand that you are understanding what mm -hmm. I'm doing with your child when he or she receives that service. While doing this, I saw the struggle, mm -hmm. the challenges of this parent. Right. And this parent was very ill. And she always said to me, Lucina, wow. you will be my advocate. You will be our eyes. You will be in Washington. You will be in Albany. And she was telling me all these things, prophesizing my life wow. in such an amazing <laughs> way. Right. So wow. <laughs> one month I went, to, I was doing some work, and I saw mom wasn't looking well. Mm. I said to her, are you OK? And it really, it becomes very emotional for me at this point. Yeah. Um, I got home from working, working with her, with her son. And as soon as I got home, I got a phone call mm -hmm. that mom had passed away. Wow. And uh, when that occurred, I just told my husband, I need to do something. Because I worked in so many homes. And what mm -hmm. I was seeing in the different homes, in the different cultures, was that support piece. Yeah. But I wasn't seeing it in our community and our homes. Mm -hmm. Because I'm from the Caribbean. Okay. This is not a discussion to talk about when right. my child right. has a disability That's or right. differences. Mm -hmm. It's a very hard topic. It is. And by doing this, I told my husband, we need to create, I need to create a place mm -hmm. where parents can come mm -hmm. and feel supported. Wow. It's about I the parent. Mm -hmm. I always felt the child is entitled mm -hmm. to all the benefits because right. he or she has a difference. Mm -hmm. But who is taking care of the oh, parents? The parents. That is amazing. God Thank bless you. you. That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> that was my calling. I'll say that's that my that, calling I love and it. my purpose. I love it. So if you can explain to um, our viewers what autism actually is, because you do hear the term, you know, often, and there's different, and I know, um, you know, there's Asperger's that was taken out of the DSM-5. Yes. I think it's... I don't know why, but what is autism? You know, autism is a neurological disorder. Mm -hmm. It affects the children's communication yeah. and social behaviors. Right. Because when you look at a child who has a difference or who mm -hmm. has autism, these children are intrinsically very intelligent. Yes. They are so smart human beings. Mm -hmm. They are so creative. Right. They are musically inclined. Mm -hmm. They are artistic. Yes. They they bring you joy. Yes. You know, you have to be in the presence of these individuals mm -hmm. to see the amazing awesomeness in each of these children. So true. So it's a <laughs> neurological disorder that mm -hmm. affects the communication and social, you know, innuendos because yeah. they don't really get it sometimes. You know, like right. when we make little idioms like when pigs fly or these mm -hmm. little crazy things we say something they look at you like, like what are you talking, what are you talking about? about very literal right right and mm -hmm. for the asperger's what happened i know there was some talk about the asperger's or could be called aspies they didn't want to be in that same oh in that category. Same category yes oh, okay because okay. they felt they are able to be more vocal right they are more verbal mm -hmm. and they can be more self-advocates yeah in describing who they are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's like i'm saying to you do not label me. Do not put me in a separate bucket. Right. I want to be who I am. Yeah. You know, and so I think also with even with autism now, the rate, the percentage is one in fifty-six or fifty-five. Wow. And boys is uh, one in about thirty-six. More, right. Yeah. 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 It's is amazing mm -hmm. where mostly more boys or males are affected by affected this disorder. By it. Right. Yeah. So how is it diagnosed? Because 
you know, you, and, and the interesting thing is, and I'm happy you're here to give the education about, you know, autistic children in general because. We use, also, we use the phrase children with autism. Children with yes. autism instead yes. of autistic children. Yes. Right. I will do that. Thank children you. with autism. So when you see, um, you know, a, ch a child with autism and you might not know, like people, they, they don't know. know. They just say, oh, this child is acting out or, right. or misbehaving or what have you. Um, how is a parent to know that their child might have autism? You know, one of the things we say, you know, I would say as a mother, mm -hmm. we have this instinct within us right. that sometimes are we aware of it or are we really utilizing this instinct that we have? Mm -hmm. Because if your baby, you know, when you're having mm. a baby, no one thinks about having a child with a difference or with autism or anything. But when that baby is born, when you start noticing signs, there's noticing things within the child. For example, between zero and three is very critical. Mm. That's where okay. children receive it early intervention. Mm -hmm. In that part of looking at the early developmental stages of our children, is that child giving you eye contact? Mm -hmm. Is that child pointing, which is joint reference? Is that mm. child pulling you or requesting from mm -hmm. you? What type of language is this child? Is this child nonverbal? Right. They just, are they just touching you or are they just holding your hand mm. and guiding you? So there's so many different cues. Different cues. But I always tell people, that one of the things <clears throat> they always say, the eye contact. Not always. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these children, they do look at you. Mm. Then also, in some places, a child may go to a daycare, and this child may stay by a corner by his or herself, mm -hmm. and playing with a yep. certain cup or a toy, or right. spinning the wheel, or doing something like which is quite unusual. And I, you know, one of the things I tell the parents, we mm. have to be observant. Right. Even me being a, a, a applied behavior analysis therapist, mm -hmm. there are things in observing. As human beings, that's one of our pluses and our skills, to be observant. Right. And as a parent, observing the different way the child is responding to mm -hmm. characteristics of their behavior, you will see, and some of you know, well, why isn't he looking at me, mm -hmm. or smiling at me, right. or not even acknowledging me, something is wrong. And we tell the parents, see your pediatrician. Also, mm -hmm. there are so much issues right now with pediatricians not even being aware or knowing how to properly diagnose or see right. a child with autism. Right. I always tell a parent, if you go on this pediatrician tell you, oh, he'll talk later, he'll That'll grow out of it. <laughs> you, you're a very smart person. Right. Call someone else. Mm -hmm. Find another pediatrician who is able to evaluate your child properly. Mm -hmm. You may have use, use a neurologist yeah, or a psychologist okay. mm -hmm. to do an evaluation, right. a total evaluation. After mm -hmm. three to five, the kids are in preschool. You can look again at the stages of development and what a child should be doing at that age or what, how he or she should be functioning. Mm -hmm. Or interacting, and, with, or the interacting with the peers. Or interacting with the peers. Or even the parent. Even the parent right. because exactly. sometimes kids with autism tend to cling to not their peers but to the adults. Yeah. Because you're Very safe. Very true. Very you're true. You're safe. Mm -hmm. You know, kids can be not nice sometimes, yeah. you know, and sometimes I think the fear so of being <laughs> called out mm -hmm. is really not, not comfortable for some. Right, absolutely. So how does, how does My Time Inc. help how do you help parents? What do oh you my do gosh. for parents? I just, no, you got me started. I got now. you started. I am like so in love with my parents. You know, <laughs> what I saw in my parents, I felt that you know what they need to be supported. Right. Also, to a parent, need to be educated. When you sit at these IEP meetings, IEP means individualized educational plans, mm -hmm. which is like the Bible, a legal document right. to provide services for your child with a with a difference, mm -hmm. with disability, with autism, or whatever or other, other disability. disabilities. Right. We educate the parent to understand these terminologies. So when you sit at a meeting, you, you know what you you're know. talking that, about. And that is so important because they, you have to be educated in this yes. information because they will, uh, I'm an educator as well, and you know we would go to meetings and my husband was happy that I was because they'll throw out these acronyms that nobody would know what these things right. are. So that's great that you, you help them with so that So that's kind of the thing. part of doing education. Mm -hmm. We do advocacy as well, where I have an advocate, amazing okay. woman I work mm -hmm. with, that she, we literally go with, to the meetings you with the, the parents mm -hmm. to make sure that when you're sitting there, because you may have a meeting and someone said, he needs OT, the parents like, what is OT? Right. Explain what is right. occupational <laughs> therapy. Right. He may need PT, which is physical which therapy. Which is different, right. <laughs> Allow the parents to understand what these terminologies are about, because mm. a parent may confuse 
physical therapy to occupational therapy. Right. Occupational therapy helps with the, the defined motor skills. Mm -hmm. The physical therapy is gross motor gross skills with the skills, body. Right. So they can understand and understand, especially when a child is diagnosed with autism, speech and language is mm -hmm. most vital. Right. That is the child's communication. And what they tend mm. to do, giving the children this limited amount of speech and language. Right, And right. parents have to know how to advocate. How to advocate. How to navigate that system, too. That system. <laughs> because <laughs> because that it's, system, not, it's not easy. It's very challenging. It's very challenging. And, and you know, if they're not armed with that education, it, it loses it, everything. Exactly, exactly. And then another part of our program is the behavior mm -hmm. therapy or behavior modification classes that we do. But my one of my favorite program I went with the programs I have is the me time program mm -hmm. all about me mm -hmm. it's a recreational and social program for the parents mm -hmm. you know sometimes the women tend to lose a diva in themselves no we're gonna get it right back into there <laughs> get honey. a diva back yes we're gonna get a diva back <laughs> even for the men I call my men divos we're gonna get it back you know and it's you so amazing to, right you have to so the me time program is where when when the state when I presented this program to the state it's like oh this is um I said, no, mm -mm. we need to do something different. Right. We need to inspire. We need to enlighten. We need to ignite the passion back in these parents. Right. I mean, some of our couples, Straining. I mean, the rate of divorce right I, now within mm, the household of a child with autism, autism. is mm -hmm. unbelievable. More you know, than the half. stresses. More, more than, than the norm. Yes, yeah. more than the mm -hmm. norm. Mm -hmm. The stresses that these families go through, the blaming game they go through. Mm -hmm. Your family is the one. No, 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 it's your family. <laughs> so we got to make right, sure. That's your side. That's your side of the family. <laughs> so we make sure that, that we know there's no division because when when you're in this situation, you have to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. Because the child, people think sometimes that these children doesn't really understand what's going on in the home. Right. The same thing I tell the parents, your mm. affect in the morning, mm -hmm. how you deal with your child affects your child's whole the day. The whole day, right, Because exactly. if you get up all unprepared, all de-energized, mm -hmm. not fill of the energy and the joy in being there and taking care, because I know there are challenges, but I always tell the parents, if you stop breathing, mm. there's mm -hmm. nothing. You need to stop sometimes and and right. feel your breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does it feel when you take that breath in? Mm -hmm. And you have to know if your child is going to school at seven, you can't get a five to seven. Right. <laughs> you have to prepare. Right. So the me time program allow okay. these parents through mm -hmm. social emotional classes. I have an amazing gentleman wow. that talks about social emotional wellness. Mm -hmm. And to see these parents come and I tell you know what, it's not therapy. It's about us being BFFs and best friends right. talking. Yes. And they're they're sharing their deepest concerns, their wonderful joys yeah. and amazement of raising the children. Mm -hmm. Their challenges. Yeah. But we can put that sense of comfort right. and competence because sometimes our parents feel that we are not competent enough yeah. to do this because right. of it's all the struggles. It's very yeah. challenging. But it my me time program, oh my that. gosh, we take them out to, to movies, mm -hmm. we go to the spa, we take many trips, we do amazing things. Parents develop new relationships. Yeah, we exactly. had Support we systems. had a parent yeah. just they both of them went on a cruise together. Oh no. This woman was like, <laughs> I got my Stella Groove back. Right. <laughs> it was so amazing. <laughs> right, exactly. Because we need to instill in our families and especially in our women. Yeah. Because we are such a superwoman. Superwoman. Give her all super of that. Sometimes superwoman fall down, That's you right. know. That's right. And when she falls down, what happened? Yeah. So it is, that is why I enjoy doing what I do. I love it because I see the growth mm -hmm. in these women right. being so amazing, awesome, and fabulous. You can contact us at... Um, 917-933-9875 or go on our website. It's www.mytimeinc.org. Mm -hmm. And you can see amazing things about our program right. as well. Yeah. So we do have your contact information. Yes. So we will be showing that. Um, do you have any volunteers that that work with you and how can can people call that number to volunteer as well? Yes, they okay. can. Right now, you know, amazingly, you know, mm -hmm. we have a very small agency. Mm -hmm. You ever heard the story of never lay in bed with a mosquito? Mm -hmm. Because it, no. it, it buzzes <laughs> in your head, it annoys you. <laughs> right. So we are like that. I okay. always make sure that we have people involved. Right. The community can involve. We have um, 
a walk in June. Okay. Where we have a lot of volunteers from the school, teachers, volunteers from around the community. Right for even for the breakfast, we have the explorers from my community. Okay. We have the Leo Lions that oh, are involved. Nice. So we have a, a lot, lot of community, community involvement. involvement. Right. So if you want to volunteer, you want to mm -hmm. spend your time, either you want to donate to a wonderful cause. Right. You know, because sometimes you know, I tell people you don't have to donate a lot. I mean, in our program, even the to go bowling, it can be twenty dollars mm -hmm. that goes to other parent to go bowling right you know so just look into your hearts right. and do these things <laughs> you know support. support support is so important well, well I want to thank you for being a guest um, you know great information I love the thank work that you. you're doing thank you so much for being here we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back we're gonna have our next guest thank, thank you, you so much <laughs> oh honey I love this this, this is amazing great. thank you thank you <laughs>